Hi guys and welcome back to another video on tips and tricks in CADI. And in this video, we will create a wall which consists of the following components. An inner wall, an outer wall, filling at the top, the cavity between the two walls, and the foundation which will obviously fall below the cut line. My first tip would be is to draw a vertical and horizontal center line and then the wall with its components on top of that. This simplifies the whole process as you will see shortly. The intersecting point of the center lines is where my origin will be when I insert the wall. I've also added the dimensions. I will start by inserting a standard wall then copying it to a new style name. So I'll click on build wall and with the standard style selected I will click on OK to continue to draw this wall. Do not worry about the height and the width at this point as we will override it with the component creation. When I select the wall in the object properties window you will see the name is standard. I am going to copy and apply the style name to the new name. So I'll right click, click on wall, copy and apply wall style and I will give it the new name. I've copy and pasted it here. Let's drag it out. You can see that's a name. I'm happy with that and I will click on OK. When I reselect the wall, you will see the new name in the object properties window. You will see shortly through the creation process that it will show a preview of these components as I create them. However, it does not show the components below the cut line. For this reason, I'm going to create a section of the wall so that I can refresh it while I'm creating it and visually see our creation. First I will place our center lines which I will copy from our previous example. Now I'm going to create a vertical section of our newly created wall and place it below but in line with the wall. Referring to my previous video, I also need to change the cut line of the wall to display the detail below the zero height level. So I will select the wall from the context toolbar, click on quick wall cut line. The bottom option I will use offset with a value of minus 1000 or 1 meter. Click on OK to continue. Nothing visibly should happen here anyway. Let's change the section line to include the level below the cut line. So I will select the cut line and in the object properties window I will change the lower extension value and change it to a positive value of 1 meter. I will unselect everything and I will select the section, right click, section and refresh and you can see the extension of the wall. Now we are ready to start with our first component which is this one. And as you can see from the drawing, it is 110 millimeters wide, but I need to cut back and start at the 110 millimeters away from that uh, center line. To edit the wall style, I will select it, right click, edit wall style. I will click on components. And there's the first one. I will uh, just double click on it to edit it. Let's change the component name and I'm going to call it Brick. I'm going to change the priority to 800. The function I will select the structural. The width I want is 110 and with no more calculations. So I will change the 110 and plus then change it to 0. The edge offset will then cut back with the 110 and hence I will make it minus 110. No further calculations is needed here and hence I'll just make it zero. The top elevation, I want it to be at the height that the user specifies. I would then have the offset zero from the wall top. The bottom elevation, however, I want to cut it back 750 millimeters as the foundation's 250 mil will bring it to the 1000 millimeter below the zero level cut line. Hence I will make this minus 750. 
I will click on OK to continue and I will close this dialog box. Now let's refresh the section. I will press escape to unselect all. Select the section, right click, click on section, refresh section and there is our new component. For the next component I will select the wall again, right click and edit wall style. Click on components and I'm going to add a new component. Click on the add component command and carry creates it. To edit it I will double click on it. Let's change the name and let's call it cavity. I will set the priority. I'll change the function. Call it non structural. And if we look at the dimensions, we need to cut back 170 from the top of the wall and right down to the top of the foundation. So let's change the width to 50 millimeters and add zero as we do not have any further calculations. Can you spot the mistake? I made the name so that it reflects a 60 millimeter cavity. I will show you at the end now to change the name to. For the edge offset, I also require a minus 160 cutback with no further calculations to make this zero. For the top elevation, I need to cut back 170 from the top of the wall. Hence, I will put it minus 170, and this will be from the wall top. For the bottom elevation, I will leave it as it is, as I want to be in line with the brick wall components. So I will click on OK, and you can see the cavity component. Now let's add the second brick wall component. So I will click on the add component. Double click on it to edit it and I will change the name to brick, set the priority to 800 as the other one, function will be structural, the width I want is 110 millimeters with no further calculations. For the edge offset we need to cut back 270 millimeters so I will enter a value then of minus 270 with no further calculations. For the top elevation, we will leave it with the default which is correct from the wall top. Bottom elevation, we want to cut down 750 millimeters below the cut line. So I will enter minus 750 from the wall bottom. I will click on OK to continue and there is our other brick wall component. Now let's add the filling component. Click on add new component. Double click on it, let's change the name to filling and I will set the priority also 800 same as the walls. I'll make it also non-structural. The width is 50 millimeters with no further calculations. The edge offset is also minus 160 with no further calculations. The top elevation will also remain zero from the wall top, but the bottom elevation will be minus 170 from the wall top. Click on OK to continue. And there is our new filling component. Now let's add the foundation component. I'll click on new component. Double click on it. We'll change the name to foundation. I'm going to set the priority a little bit higher than the walls, make it 799. Set it to structural. If you look at the dimensions, the width is 600 with no further calculations, but with a cutback of 435 millimeters. So I will set the width to 600 millimeters with zero further calculations. and the edge offset as minus 435.
top elevation will be from the baseline I'll be minus 750 and for the bottom elevation also from the baseline we'll make that from the baseline we'll make it minus 1000 click OK to continue Note as I mentioned earlier, you will not see the foundation component here and hence the reason I created this section which will enable us to see it. So I will close this dialog box and let's update this section. I will press escape to unselect all. Click on the section to select it. Right click. Click on section. Refresh section and then it is updated. It doesn't look 100% to what we expected and this is because of two reasons. The first is the positioning of the wall and the section line, which we will resolve simply by moving the wall to our origin center line. The second reason is the render mode. So let's move the wall by selecting it, right click, move, and I will move it and snap it onto the center line. So by refreshing it again, you will see how the section moves. You could have done both these steps in one command, but I'm breaking it into two so that you do not miss the second one. With the section selected, I'll right click, click on section, but now I will regenerate section and here I will change the render mode to model height detail and I'll click on OK. There is our section complete. Before I forget, let me show you how to change the name of the wall style. From the top menu, I will click on manage and AEC style manager and from the wall styles select wall we want to modify under the name option I will change the 60 to 50 I'll hit apply and I will close when I now select the AEC wall the correct name will be displayed in the object properties window if you enjoyed watching this video click the like and subscribe buttons and do not forget to send me your comments and requests. My details as well as download links for the files used in creating this video can be found in the description below. Happy drawing!